Welcome to Tech Brothers with Ahmed. Today we are going to answer this question. How will you remove uh, duplicate records in SSIS? Which transformation can help with this task? So there are two scenarios in this case. Uh, when we are saying remove duplicates, that means okay, any duplicate records you do not even want to load them. The second option, what we have, okay, I have duplicate records, but I want to get one record out of those duplicate records and load them so let's go to S, uh, SSDT or bids whatever you have and then uh, start our package we have I have already created one package I'm gonna go quick on this one it can be lengthy if we will just uh, waste time so I have this table if you see the data in this table I have some duplicate records so the uh, this one first uh, with ID 1 and 1 Amir that that's a duplicate record then uh, we have here with the ID 3 Christie so these two records are duplicates and each one has uh, is uh, two uh, rows or uh, uh, yeah that, that's what I will say or uh, two data points or va values whatever you call it so two rows uh, for each of the records so that's make them duplicate now first uh, well, what we want to do we do not even want to load any duplicate so we should be only loading uh, these uh, uh, three records uh, don't consider this one is coming from a uh, SQL server table consider this one uh, th these records are coming from uh, flat file Excel or some other source if you have the data in the uh, SQL table why you need the, uh, need to use even uh, uh, all these transformation you can always write a query and uh, get the uh, unique uh, data or uh, the way you want it so bring the already be source here and then uh, connect to the customer table hit ok now next part is uh, bring the aggregate uh, transformation so go to the common what we are going to do here we are going to group by by all columns so here I'm going to group by by all columns and then I want the count so with the count star if you will think about T sequel so I'm saying uh, select ID name for first name last name address and every column then co comma count uh, star and then uh, group by all these columns so I'm going to get a count so this column can be called uh, count all now hit ok let's see what we have here uh, here we have to also group by next part is uh, let's put the multicast I want to show you real quick uh, what we are getting in and how we are going to sort that duplicate records uh, or uh, redirect them to the different directions uh, and uh, just get the uh, correct uh, or the records uh, they are not duplicate so we can see here this uh, count all is given us uh, the number of uh, times uh, each record is uh, existing uh, from from the source uh, what we see here Amir with ID 1 that's uh, uh, occurring t twice uh, and the same for Christie and if you guys remember that we have used a conditional split uh, and we can use the conditional split uh, to split the data so here I'm going to use the conditional split real quick uh, and uh, remove these duplicate records of where the values uh, of uh, uh, count all column is equal to 2 or greater than 2 so any value if I have uh, 2 or greater than 2 I don't want that I want to say remove duplicates move them to the uh, duplicate output and rest uh, will go to the default I can call them good records we have a small issue here with the data conversion so it is asking us okay this number two is not a number or this side is not a number so we have to do conversion uh, to the integer so I'm going to do uh, conversion right here I can say DTN i4 and uh, hold on this you can put it here greater than or equal to So now everything looks good we are saying okay this count all is integer type and if it is greater than or equal to 2 move them to the duplicate output otherwise they, they are the good records move them to the good records output now bring two multicast here and then join them 
uh, with the one will be getting a, a duplicate output and the other one will be getting good records so if we put uh, two data viewers between them so we can see what we get here I'm trying to make it a little fast so you don't be tired of this run the package what we see here in the duplicate records all those duplicate records they were happening twice uh, they moved on the, the duplicate side and all good records uh, are moved uh, on uh, this uh, good records uh, data uh, multicast side so that that's how you can remove the duplicate records uh, in the uh, data flow task uh, the second part is uh, okay you want to remove the duplicate record yes uh, but what you want to do you want to uh, keep uh, one copy of them so instead of having this whole thing let's make a copy of this one I'm gonna make a copy paste it here real quick now what options we have come on and I'm going to disable this one for now because we are not using this one so it is disabled go back here uh, remove the condition split remove the multicast remove the one and second multicast go to the aggregate again and remove the count star if you think in a t-sql if we join all uh, if we group by all columns what we get we get a, a group uh, uh, records right so a group uh, when you say group by this and that if you have multiple records it's going to always give you a distinct uh, record so that's how it is going to work so now what we did we group by all those columns so it's going to give us unique records even there are duplicate records but it is going to convert them to the con uh, unique so from here we might uh, read uh, let's see what we read we have one two three four seven records here and then uh, when we run it the two will be converted to one so we will get five of them uh, let's uh, put the data over here quickly run the package and what we see here we have only five records and even Amir was twice in the input and it is only given us one output and uh, Christy was also twice uh, uh, in the input side but now we are getting only one record for the Christy so that's how the, we can use aggregate when we want to remove the duplicates but we want to have at least one copy or one record from those duplicate records the next part I'm gonna go quickly and remove make a copy of this one again and use paste here let's uh, disable this data flow I have this demo in different uh, videos uh, but uh, I thought okay let me go ahead and do it uh, sometime it's uh, kinda easy uh, instead of uh, going back and forth and finding the videos uh, now instead of uh, using the aggregate what we can use uh, we can use the sort transformation if I use the sort transformation here and then connect it and here I'm gonna sort with all those columns and then what I want to do remove rows with duplicate sort values click here bring the multicast and then use a data viewer this will work exactly like our second example where we have the duplicate records and what we want to do we want to get a unique out of them so we do not we are not removing entire uh, duplicate set uh, we are getting one record out of those duplicate records if you can see here uh, a mirror was happening twice here uh, on the you know input side now it is only one time Christy was also happening twice it is uh, came as one so and uh, Najaf and uh, Robert and uh, Charlotte they are they were unique and they came out uh, that's how you can remove the duplicate so there are two scenarios go back to your original question if you want to remove them all of the duplicates so you do not want to get any record out of them or unique record out of them then you will be using aggregate and you will be using count star and uh, group by and finally you will use the conditional split and uh, that's how you will branch them out uh, into good records and duplicate records but if you want to have one copy out of those duplicates so you can use aggregate without count and group uh, group by group by, uh, by all those columns and then uh, that will give you distinct uh, rec record set 
it and uh, you can or you can use a sort transformation uh, to get the uh, distinct records uh, these aggregate and uh, sort transformation they are um, kind of slow transformation they have to put all the records in the memory and then start processing so my suggestion if you have millions of records you might want to insert your records into the staging table and then uh, you get the distinct records from there instead of uh, using multiple sorts and uh, aggregate uh, transformations in a data flow task thanks you very much for watching this video and i will see you next video